we're going to go to Ira. Hey, Kenny, how's it going? Good, how are you? Can you hear me, Kenny? I can hear you. Good. Hey, um, on some of those coverage sacks, I'm sorry, appreciate it. On some of those coverage sacks, are, are, can you see from where you're at if there's nothing there or the quarterbacks just aren't seeing it? To be honest, some of those, there's, there's nothing there. The ball should be checked down to the back, and we got to take the check down at quarterback. Uh, but that's part of a scrimmage, you know, not everything is going to be, is going to be schemed up to put you in the best situation to be successful. I mean, that's, that's part of the process is, you know, not putting our guys in the greatest position and seeing how we respond because that's going to happen on game day. So I would say it's a combination of us just not taking the back and taking the check down and saying, Hey, it's not great. Right. Let's dump it down. Or can I extend the play at this point? Hey, Kenny, in general, what did you think of the quarterback play after initial viewing before you watched the film? Uh, hard to tell. We were putting a lot of bad situations today. Uh, us as a whole offensively had too many MAs. Um, you know, we, we put some younger guys in there and too many, minute, too many MAs. Um, we couldn't develop a, a – no, we developed a rhythm – but I talk about it all the time as an offense is you either got to be elite efficiency, which means you got to be able to go on 10, 12, 15 play drives and score. Right. Or you have to be explosive. Right. Well, today we would start drives, right. Get a first, first down and get a penalty. And then we didn't hit on the big balls. So when you're not explosive and you combine that, with you're hurting yourself to be efficient, you're stuck in the no man's land offensively, right? So as a quarterback room, right, we just got to understand, you know, in, in a scrimmage, you're not going to be able to extend the play as much. So try to find and work your check downs more and a little bit quicker. Hey, Kenny, it looked like the young wide receivers took a little bit of a step back from what we saw last week. Is, is this just a function of young, you know, young guys are going to have ups and downs? What do you do to kind of accelerate the learning curve for some of those guys? Yeah, I told our, our guys the other day, I said, if you're playing and you're a freshman, well, you're not a freshman because you're playing. And nobody's going to say, hey, that's a freshman. Let's give him a free release. That's not how it's going to work. So if you're on the field, you're playing. And if you're on the field and you're playing, it's for a reason. you got to go out there and execute. If you don't execute, you won't play. It, it's, it's as simple as that. Uh, today we put our guys in a little more just with, with what we called. We put our guys in a little more challenging position to win one-on-ones. Uh, we didn't help them as much. I want to see who can go out there and win those one-on-ones. Who can go out there and mano a mano on a third and nine, right, what left guard can protect? What slot receiver can win on a curl, right? So today we kind of challenge those guys uh, in terms of forcing them to win those one-on-ones instead of kind of scheming them open. Hey, Kenny, back to quarterbacks. You know, watching McKenzie today, it seemed like you know his eyes were moving quite nicely from from sideline to sideline. And Coach Norvell said that you know sees a little bit of that, but maybe he wasn't going in the right order in his progressions. Is it part of his growth, like, you know, kind of building upon these things now? He he knows where all the routes are supposed to be, but maybe he's not going in the right order. But is that still like a, a move in the right direction for him? Well, 100%. I mean, we put a lot on our quarterback. Uh, and he's come in there and done a nice job. And there's times in, in the game where you're in the heat of the battle and maybe we read a concept differently than a system in the past has read the same concept. So when you're in the heat of the battle – and you're used to reading this concept, a field concept first, and you get the look that you're used to taking the concept of the field, but we just coach it a little bit different, which is why we don't read the field. You know, those are the things that are, you're going to only get better at through reps and just the, the big scheme of comfort within the scheme. So I think there were a few times uh, where he knows where everybody's at, right? We're just not thinking the same yet all the time. Right. And, th- and that's when you can become good on, on offense is when uh, the coaches and the quarterback 
all of the same thought process when we get a look. And that's not just going to happen in uh, eight practices, nine practices. That's a process that's going to all go, all go all the way through fall camp. That's a process that's going to build throughout the season. Come back to Gene. Kenny, you guys got Jay Sean some extended reps today. It looked like he came through for you. Did you get did you get what you wanted out of him, both being able to run effectively and then catch the ball in the backfield? 100 percent We wanted to get him going a little bit. He's had such a good offseason uh, for us that we just wanted to get him rolling, get him some touches, um, get the juices flowing a little bit for him. All right. Anything else for Coach Kenny? All right, thanks, Coach. All right, y'all have a great day.